So welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to talk about how to find cryptocurrency projects that you might be interested in doing more research. Now previously I did release a video on MANA on how I research MANA and what are the seven or nine steps I go through, read the white paper, so on and so forth. But I don't think I've covered exactly where do I even get the idea of MANA ahead of time. Okay, so that's what this video is about. Hopefully you watched the broker video and by now you have a brokerage account set up, like it takes a week or two to set that up. So then uh, you can watch this video and try to do some research and get some ideas on it. So for another video, I'll also explain what is the dumbest way to make a hundred times in the crypto market in three years. Even if you don't do anything, there is a possibility to make a hundred times in crypto markets in the next three, uh, maybe five years. But that's what you're looking at. All right. Right now I'm on coinmarketcap.com. So this is really the website I use to just to scan for crypto projects. Now, of course, not every project is going to be on your broker. So for example, not every project here is going to be on Coinbase or Kraken. Those are the two brokers I use, but then it is a pretty good start. So when you are looking at something you're interested in, then you always want to cross check to your broker to make sure that you're able to buy it. So then you're not wasting a bunch of time doing research for no reason. Okay. Now, if you're looking at this list first, you want to sort it by market cap. So market cap is the calculation of the supply in terms of the number of coins times the price. Okay. So higher market cap, similar to stocks means the stock itself is bigger, should be more stable, so on and so forth. Now, of course, you can very easily just buy the top market cap coins. So for example, Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, Solana, so on and so forth. And that will probably get you a good start. If you just look at the top 10 and you start doing some research over it, other than these $1 ones, because they don't change over time, then you should be okay. That is actually an okay start. Now, if you are looking to invest similar as what I do, and my philosophy for crypto is a little bit different than my philosophy for stocks. And I need to dive into the philosophy for crypto because it's important on understanding how you can replicate uh, my success, uh, which is not that you know long. It's only I've been investing for a year. And so far, I think my portfolio only went up by five times. I think it's okay. It's working out in that sense. So my philosophy for crypto is buy and hold. Now that sounds really simple. And the reason is because I don't want to be jumping in and out of the market because first the fees are kind of high. And second, I don't think I want to be monitoring a market 24 seven. It's like the Forex market and jumping in and out. It's just not my style. It's not good for your health. And if I cannot do it, I would choose not to do it. So I'm not doing it. So buy and hold. Okay. So that means if you are able to get in as a, at a dip, then you're basically set for the next three to five years. Because when it comes to crypto, either it goes to the moon or it goes to zero. So when you're investing in crypto, you need to have that mental preparation that something might go to zero. Okay. All right. Now the most straightforward ones, of course, are these two, but you can just do your research on it. It's basically investing in like the Apple or the Google of cryptocurrencies. So you're going to get quite a decent return from it. Even if your timing is a little bit off, like as long as you're not investing right before a crash, then you should be okay. You can always refer to my technical analysis template. It's the same technical analysis template that you can use to buy cryptocurrencies. All right. Now, if you go down below, you need to think to yourself, are you trying to just buy and hold the largest coin? If you are trying to buy and hold the largest coin, then look at the top 10 coins. You're pretty much there. Top 20 if you're really interested. But my philosophy when it comes to investing in crypto is I want to recreate the initial conditions of Bitcoin. Okay. So this is actually a very specific thing I'm trying to do. I'm trying to invest in Bitcoin 20 years ago, but today. So this means 
I'm trying to look for a very cheap coin that has the ability to go up. So during the time when I was investigating, I was looking for coins that is around a dollar, under a dollar actually. So during that time, mana was one of them. So I actually did an in-depth analysis on mana and why I like mana and so on and so forth. But if I just find mana here, Decentraland, I got in at a quite a cheap price, like less than 50 cents or whatnot. And right now it's still only the 36 coins. So I did the research on the supply. I did the research on the use case. I played a game. I timed the market bottom using my technical analysis template so you get in at a good price before the run up. And then afterwards, I know like they have a burning mechanism, which is important, which means like the coin supply reduces over time. And I know this is something I want to hold on to long term. Uh, so right now it's at $3.6. So this is actually one of the coins that I have the most gains on. So that is mana. Now another one that is still cheap in terms of dollar value per coin is XLM. Let me just go up here. Nope, go down. Stellar. So right now it's number 24. Now for this coin, they actually have a lot of good partnerships it seems like a fantastic project. So even though this coin is not making me a lot of money, I actually really like Stellar. They have a partnership with MoneyGram, right? They have a partnership with Ukraine government. So this is all the research that I've been doing. I've been following their reddits and whatnot just to read about them. And there is no burning mechanism for Stellar because they want to keep the price lower. And there is a maximum supply, and I think there is a very centralized foundation, which is Stellar nonprofit, owning it as well. So I think the purpose of Stellar is instead of replacing the fiat currency, is really a payment network where between banks or between countries, they can send payments really quickly. It's probably like one of the cheapest way to send money across the border, and I really believe in Stellar. Now, having said that, it actually didn't make me that much money. In fact, compared to other coins like Shiba Inu coin or Mana, it doesn't make me that much money for now. But I'm in it for the long term, so it doesn't really matter to me if it doesn't make money tomorrow because I'm holding it for three to five years anyways. And three to five years is actually a very long time in cryptocurrencies. Yeah, so if you go down based on the market cap, then you can start picking out projects that you think are interesting to you and you do more research on it. So let's say I click on Stellar. So here you can see that, okay, they have this website. You definitely need to visit it. You have the white paper. So the white paper, I treat it like the fundamental analysis of stock investing. So you definitely want to read that. And then afterwards, yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Um, you want to read this for sure. Like the description here, founders. This is important, how many coins are in circulation. Um, and whether it's secure. So you want to invest in something that is a little bit more established. You don't want to be in, invested in the newest or the shittiest altcoin because there's a lot of scams in the crypto market. So it's actually very easy to lose money in the crypto market. For example, there's the recent squid coin that everybody lost except one winner, which is the founder or whatever. The safe moon coin, which I think it was there was a giant hype going through a giant pump and dump. And I think a lot of people lost money there. So yeah, you need to definitely be careful. So then you don't end up with one of those uh, shit coins and lose money. Okay, so let me see if there is anything that I want to bring out to you here. So basically, I skip everything here. Other than yeah, I basically skip everything here, other than the news. So you probably want to read the news, but to be honest, when it comes to cryptocurrency, it's going to sound really weird, but Reddit has better news source than here. Like you can read this, but if you go to Reddit and you just get a feel of the community, whether they are a good community, whether they are trying to pump it or not, and you can gauge using empirical evidence, whether this coin is popular or not. So I have coins that they actually don't do anything like, the community is dead. I have coins that like XLM, a lot of people believe in it, but it's not going up. And I have coins that people believe in it. There's a very good use case like Manda and it's going up a lot. Here you can see 19% in the last 24 hours or so. Okay, so another coin I have 
is actually CVC. This is actually something I did research on. I don't think I can just find it that easily. So CVC. So this coin is probably end up going to be one of my mistakes. Uh, I did make money on it. Uh, I'm actually making quite a good profit or whatever. So if I look at one year, I probably invested here. So I probably invested in the beginning of this year. So you can see my price is pretty good. Right now I'm in a green profits, but then the Reddit community is not really that active and they actually have a business model where they make money. There's actually like a monthly subscription to use their facial recognition um, software or platform, but I don't think they're getting the traction they need in order to be successful. So I think the Reddit community is actually not that uh, active compared to some of the other coins like Shiba Inu coin or Mana or XLM. So this is one of my four holdings that might end up being an underdog or I might end up losing money on it. But I think it's fine because I think in the grand scheme of things, I controlled my exposure in terms of CVC coin. So that even if it doesn't work, yeah, cryptocurrency is, is a bit of a gamble compared to stock investing. So my last position is actually a little bit ridiculous is Shiba Inu coin. So this is actually something that's really popular and a lot of people are investing in it or trying to make a quick buck off it. For myself, I'm not really a pump and dump kind of guy. So I just hold on to a long term. So if Shiba Inu goes to the moon, fantastic. If Shiba Inu goes to zero, then I'm prepared for it to go to zero right from the start. So the money I invest in Shiba Inu if it turns out that somebody, you know, rug pulls Shiba Inu and it goes to zero or Shiba Inu got hacked or whatever, then yeah, I know that is the risk I'm willing to take, especially if I'm investing in a coin like this one. So I think I got in just a couple months ago. I actually got in around here. Yeah, I think I got in around here. So this chart is not reflective of what you see on Coinbase because Coinbase listed it somewhere around here and then afterwards there was a giant dip and that's why I bought it. So let me just pull it up for you. Okay, so here we go. So for those of you who don't know, this platform is called TradingView. It's the platform I use for stock investing, but you can actually find cryptocurrencies here as well. So basically, if you want to analyze the technical analysis side of it, then you would use the symbol SHIB USD, then usually it will pop up. So here, if you choose Coinbase, then this actually brings you here. And you can see initially when it was listed on Coinbase, like the high was here and then the low is here. If you're looking at Shiba Inu coin, this one is actually a little bit tricky in terms of how you get in. Now, of course, you can follow my rules for technical analysis for, you know, Boyle and Japan and the EMAs and so on, which will work out pretty well. But for Shiba Inu coin, is actually a very special case where it just got listed on Coinbase and you get this giant volatility. And because of this giant volatility and there's basically no price history using the Coinbase app or in this case, the chart here, uh, you can technically use another broker to get more data. I actually thought it was pretty cheap. So you can see this large dump here from the Coinbase app and then it is cheap at this price. So that's when I got in most of my position. In fact, I actually entered very small amounts of money here is like $1,000. And then afterwards it went up. So then I decided to average up a little bit. So another $1,000. And then afterwards it jumped up to here. Then at that point, I feel like, you know, in the short term, maybe it has gone up so much. So then I don't feel like averaging up anymore. So then you can see majority of my position is actually between this range. So I think in the span of six weeks or whatnot, you can see it actually went all the way to five to 10 times my initial balance. So this is actually a sizable holding in my portfolio now, like it's around 20%. Actually, it's a lot less than that. It's around 10% of my crypto holding because of this run up. So it is not significant enough where I would take profit and it's not small enough where I would ignore it. So I just leave it. So there's no need to add any more because I've already reached my maximum exposure when it comes to Shiba Inu coin compared to the other coins I have. I just hold on to it for three to five years. And if it does go all the way to one penny, woohoo, then we'll see how it goes. If it doesn't go to one penny and it goes to zero, then it goes to zero. I controlled my risk. So when it comes to using cryptos as an investment, you always need to consider the risk first 
instead of the gain because obviously the risk is very high. The risk is 100% of your capital can be lost. So that is pretty much it. I think we have gone through quite a good example. Obviously, there are way more coins here than you can possibly do research. So there is a little bit of luck involved. There's all these random coins like file coin that pop up every day. There's going to be a new Shiba Inu coin in the future. There's going to be Eron or whatever, or El <laughs> Elron or yeah, Helium. That's the internet one. There's going to be a lot of coins like Pancake Swap and when you are analyzing it, you just got to do your best. There's no way you're going to analyzing every single coin in depth. So you need to pick and choose and from your analysis, then pick and choose again for the best one to invest. Okay. In the next video, I'll actually talk about one of the weird or counterintuitive rules that I plan to 100x my portfolio in the next three to five years. So I'll see you in the next one.